Viewers would pay this man money to do unspeakable things to his friends and most heartbreaking of all you guys, his girlfriend. Hey guys, what's up? It's Cassie. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you will join in on today's conversation because you guys, there is definitely a conversation to have around this story. Jaws Reflay is a 30 year old Russian YouTuber who is mostly known for doing extremely disturbing live streams. Viewers would pay this man money to do unspeakable things to his friends and most heartbreaking of all you guys, his girlfriend. Now I do want to take a moment to talk about his girlfriend because unfortunately she is the one that loses her life through all of this. Valentina was only 28 years old, you guys. Oh my gosh, that is so, so young. And the most heartbreaking part of all is the fact that she was in the early stages of pregnancy. This is something that both her and this monster was fully aware of at the time of this live stream. Reflay's most recent live stream, someone actually paid him $1,000 for him to inflict harm onto his pregnant girlfriend. Now, it is said at this time that Reflay forced his girlfriend out onto his balcony in absolutely nothing but her undergarments. And in Russia at this time, it was freezing temperature weathers, you guys. After he puts her out there, he locks the balcony door and goes back to live streaming as if everything is normal, as if it's all normal. And in this footage, which is too disturbing to share, you guys, after sitting there and live streaming for quite some time, Reflay does finally get up and go and check on his girlfriend. And it shows him dragging her unconscious body back into the home. You do have to remember that this live stream was in Russian and they are working on translating a lot of this. This is just something I want to add, but during all of this, instead of turning the live stream off and calling the ambulance or anything of that nature he actually leaves the live stream on for the whole event you guys and he goes out of his way to drag this poor woman's body into the view of the camera so that the viewers can see all of this happening. He is supposedly heard saying, Valia, are you alive? My bunny, what is wrong? As he is trying to attempt CPR. He also says, bunny, come on, say something. I'm worried. Damn, I do not feel her heartbeat. After quite some time of him supposedly trying to revive her, he does then turn to the viewers and say, guys, she has no pulse. She's pale and not breathing. This live stream goes on for a couple of hours and it really does play out the whole scene, you guys. He picks her body up and he puts it on the couch. He then calls the ambulance and the ambulance comes and checks on her and pronounces her dead. Now, according to the ambulance, it seems as if she did pass away from hypothermia. The temperature there were freezing and she had been put out there for quite some time. Replay was held by the police officers as they questioned him about everything. The whole story is so disturbing but this part is what really really disturbs me the most. He is only facing two years of prison time. Two years of prison time and that's only if the forensic experts can prove that she did actually pass away from hypothermia. Urgent investigation is now underway as we speak, and they are checking to see if there was any other laws that were broken during this live stream, which we're going to get to that in just a moment. I found this article from The Sun. I will leave it linked down below if you guys want to go check it out for yourself and read into it in more detail. But it says, feminist Liza Lazerson called out YouTube for banning bare breast and nudity, but yet they allow violence and cruelty without any problems. Live streams have been going on for months and nobody had ever banned this guy from YouTube. He had never been striked or anything for his disgusting behaviors. There was one live stream where he actually had been paid so much money to pepper spray his girlfriend and he did it multiple times. And you guys, I just have to say, as someone who has been pepper sprayed before. It is so painful. It feels like your skin is literally on fire and there is absolutely nothing you can do to make it go away. It just has to wear off. So I can only imagine sitting there and being sprayed in the face multiple times in a matter of moments. This woman died on air and people were paying the killer. 
Videos like this are commonly broadcasted on YouTube literally all the time. It's not only wrong and disgusting, but something has to be done about it. In my personal opinion, YouTube really needs to step up the game when it comes to censoring things and making sure that it is restricted, making sure that there isn't violence like this. I know they do their best, but in this situation, this was something that went on for months and months and months. And the fact that nobody caught it, tens of thousands of people would watch these live streams and get kicks off of watching him do these disgusting things. And YouTube never stepped in. Nobody ever seen this. I just don't understand how it's even possible. In a lot of this particular live stream, there was other people there. There was a friend of theirs there and nobody stepped in. Nobody stepped in to stop this man. The thing that you guys do have to remember too is Russia is so different than America. There's a lot of things there that people kind of look the other way, turn their cheek on. When it comes to criminal offenses, you don't get in as much trouble. I mean, two years, two years in prison and he killed this woman. He literally killed her. And there's plenty of evidence. There's a whole live stream on it. Valentina definitely deserves justice. And that is exactly why I wanted to make this video. Her life was worth so much more than this. And it's just so sad that he's practically going to get away with it. He's practically going to walk away scotch-free and that is so heartbreaking. I wanted to share this story with you guys today because I think it is so important to know that this is the kind of things that's going on on the internet literally every single day. People turn the other cheek to it or even worse, people sit there and support this behavior and support this. More and more people, especially this year in particular, are dying via live stream and social media and it's becoming a serious problem. There needs to be awareness raised on this and people need to be talking about this way more than they are because it is a serious issue. My hopes is that YouTube and other social media platforms really start focusing on this particular situation and try to figure out ways to limit this type of behavior way more than it is now. The way that I look at it is there's so many people out there. YouTube tries to do their best, but unfortunately, sometimes things fall through the cracks and this is one of the people it looks like he is going to basically get away with killing this sweet girl. It breaks my heart that she had to lose her life and that poor, poor, precious baby. It, Y'all, it really is too much. That is it for this video, you guys. There definitely needs to be awareness on this situation. We've got to do better as a whole here on social media and anybody that sits here and condones this type of behavior, all those people that sat there and supported this and paid this man to do these things, they should be charged with murder as well because they're just as much a part of it. No, that's not the way it works. I'm just saying the fact that there are people out there like that, that support that type of behavior, whether it's in Russia or here in America, it doesn't matter. It is just so, so heartbreaking. Please share this video with everyone. It may seem like such a small act, but it does raise awareness on this particular situation, which is the whole reason I wanted to share this story to begin with. My thoughts go out to Valentina's family. I hope and pray that they can find clarity throughout this and most importantly that there is justice for Valentina because no one no one deserves this I'd like to take the time out to say thank you to you guys for stopping by and listening to what I have to say today if you enjoyed this content and would like more please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for post notifications that way you are notified every single time I upload I appreciate every single one of you so so much and until the next time bye